This is part two of my interview with Helmut Reiser. What uh, talents would you say a good handler has? Good handler must be able to read uh, the mentality of the dog, to read the the dog in his behavior. Mm -hmm. Must be a very disciplined person with a good heart, mm -hmm. very fair, and must be able uh, to change emotions very quick hmm. on purpose. Yes, for the dog. <laughs> on purpose. Dr. Okay. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, yes. like you call yeah. it. Uh, you must uh, have uh, the option to, of course, the physis is, is uh, uh, one criteria, yeah? that he has good coordination in the body. Then it's easy for the dog to read. Then he has to be have deep discipline in the body, and then he must obey the learning rules. And well, the best is if he's also a good handler, a helper. Then he understands a lot of the behavior of the dog. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. The most in interesting thing is a hand helper. I can uh, show you my. <laughs> My training ground. The, the wall is full with trophies. Okay. <laughs> and uh, well, I have uh, competed more than 20 times in the Bundesliga. Okay. Yeah. Uh, until I get rid of this because every year it was the same most important questions. What will they judge this year? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and, and uh, so inconsistency in the judging. Yes, ab okay. absolutely. So and and, uh, and then um, well, I competed. Uh, in the World Championship, and I competed in RSV 2000 Championships every time. One time I judged, the other times I uh, competed with dogs. There I won two, two or three times. I won three times the Bundesliga in SV. Yeah, and uh, well. My whole life <laughs> in okay. dog sport, okay. I, co I performed. Yeah. And only I, IGP, well, Schutzen. It started with Schutzen, then they called it... Uh, um, IPO. IPO, and then before now. it was also... And we, in RSV 2000, we went back to Schutzen. Okay. Yeah. So what has changed with the um, Schutzen to IGP to... I mean, I, IPO to IGP, is it... Less less stress on the dog, easier for handling, or what? Taking the, out some exercises. In the beginning, we had the straight wall, mm -hmm. 180, and the fence. Then there comes the A frame, mm -hmm. yeah, and this was a little bit easier. But then um, they uh, standardized, stand, standardized, standardized, standardized uh, more and more the helper work. Okay, uh, so it became. Fairer and easier. Okay. Yeah. Easier for the dog. He also for train it. Okay. Yeah. If you know what happens, it's much easier. Mm -hmm. uh, then, well, then in the last years, uh, it happened uh, that they start to criticize lots of technical desires, uh, details. They looked on the little pixels, uh, and I always said, "Hey, if you see a picture of Picasso." You cannot describe the pixel. If you say there's a red point and a blue point and a gray point, you don't describe the picture. Yeah? And uh, you should uh, see the work of the dog. And uh, 40 years ago, uh, the old Köster said already, he was a training director of SV, he said, hey, give a Wertmessive, um, a Wertnote. Uh, give the measuring at first, if it's a V, a SG, or a G, or mm -hmm. a B. Yeah? And um, here we are far away now. Mm. They, they try to look at details and they try to do uh, percent of this and percent of this. this is all. The judging went terrible yeah, in, the, in the last time. The training becomes much, much more precise and, and better. Yeah. The dogs we have... You mean in the new IGP? In, over the years. Okay. Over the years, up to the IGP. Yeah. And um, judging became awful, training became better. But training became better because trainers are developing. Yes, but 
uh, we lose in the last years lots of base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we lost many many people who do dog sport, and I think it's it's a it's a dying sport. It, well, it is in Canada yeah. where I am. If it, if it uh, if things don't change and uh, if the politics in the dog sport don't change, uh, they will not. Um, Make IGP surviving, okay. and it depends also to the um, to the sensitivity of the of the society. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. We have lots of problems to go along with our dogs. We have no lobby. Yeah, we have no lobby, and the dog handlers they are obedient. They don't say the truth. They do their training in halls or somewhere where nobody looks, and uh, so we are criticized everywhere. And this is no good for entertainment and uh, uh, public relation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. What would you like the new generation to carry on from the past? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think, I, uh, think at once as my uh, practice and the employees and the uh, apprentices, the, yep. the learner. Apprentices, yeah. 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 I get no apprentices. No apprentices. No. We lose the whole uh, generation. Yeah, you have no young girl, which is normal, which doesn't make the whole time this, <laughs> uh, and is able to concentrate. Yeah, and if you say, "Hey, you have to," they They're quit. Gone. They quit because the whole education uh, is in a way that they destroy um, the young people. They are eloquent. They can talk. They are uh, all very selfish, but we lost, we lost uh, lots of um, values. And I think this shit comes from this shit what Adolf Hitler did. We have no discipline, we have no obedience, we have nothing. This is all out in Germany. Yeah? We have only uh, self uh, uh, development, we have happiness, we have uh, all this. And if you, if you work this job eight hours in halogen light in accord work, you have to be very concentrated. Mm -hmm. yeah? And this stress your ner nerves. Mm -hmm. And um, if I have a, a girl in the chair who's, yeah, I'm happy you do, yeah. Make uh, it worse. You cannot work with this. Mm -hmm. You cannot work with this. And with the smoke, after two hours, they need nicotine or they get these hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Their hand is not quiet and calm. Mm -hmm. yeah? And if you say something, you have to be disciplined. If you say this to the parents, oh, my child, and, and mm -hmm. yeah. this is very, very difficult. And um, I don't get these uh, young people for my, uh, uh, for my job. Yeah? You see, who is some clever goes to high school and university. Yeah? And what you have in the basic schools, yeah? they have everything, uh, but no concentration, no focus, no discipline. And uh, this is something you need in dog sport. Yeah? It's something you need in If life. you have no focus, no discipline. Yeah? And you always uh, think for your own uh, personal comfort. Mm -hmm. And if you only want to have happiness, uh, um, you end up in depression. Is where you end up in the long term. Of course. <laughs> yeah? And okay. this is something uh, I, don't, I, I see not only in my job. Every worker you can ask. Mm -hmm. They got no apprentices. Mm -hmm. They can use. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm happy that I don't live here in 30 years, believe me. Yeah. Okay. And it's education, it's our, uh, it's our government, it's a philosophy, yeah? and um, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah? If you're not busy, if you have no focus, if you have no discipline, um, social life... Uh, <laughs> uh, is nice, but uh, you have to do your job, you have to be focused, and you have to be uh, busy. That will separate the successful people. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm.
and from nothing comes nothing. Therefore, yeah. when you meet dog sport people, you like to meet them. If, of course, yeah. uh, you have lots of to talk together. I watch some of the videos and yeah. I say, "Oh shit, this guy's like me." Yeah. <laughs> like when it comes to training, I tell people before I train, yeah. I say, "Listen, when you, I'm not funny guy. I'm nice. I'm nice. But when we come to training." When you come to training, I'm going to be an asshole. And when I'm an asshole, don't be mad. It's for you and the betterment of the dog. But I need you to listen. And these But people, they can't here, take the stress. Uh, Jeremy, yeah. here you can learn something from me. I was this in your age. Okay. Now I'm quite polite as a trainer. I'm trying to be. I'm 40 now. <laughs> uh, okay. I can, I, can, I can give you some advice. In the past, I was also very uh, loud and hard. Nowadays... Um, in the last 15 years, yeah, uh, it was not so interesting for me to train a dog. I train people. Yeah. You see? And uh, I tried to figure out a methodic didactic way uh, that people learn to teach, a, to, to train a dog and to perform with the dog. <clears throat> and there are three levels. The first level is uh, you have to learn how to raise drive. The second level is you have to learn how to uh, put this drive in technique. And then comes the most important and most difficult level for a dog handler. This is making strate strate strategy decisions. Mm -hmm. Strategic decisions. Stra strate say it again. Stra strategic. Strategic yeah. decisions. You make my English sound great. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Because because you have to decide when to and, do yes, what, when to do praise, when to do compulsion, mm -hmm. when to do drive, when to do uh, frozen uh, uh, body. And uh, these decisions, you must, um, you must anticipate uh, the behavior of the dog in this moment and make a quick decision how mm -hmm. to, to do. And this is the most difficult uh, part for all the people I train. But I'm so proud in these years I have brought young people or new people, mostly are older, um, from zero up to perform on a world championship. Hmm. Yeah? And I learned a lot of methodic and didactic how to teach dog sport. Hmm. And this was my... Um, um, My, my job in the last 15 years. Okay. Because when we started with RSV 2000, I asked 20 of the best, yeah, uh, will you start with me a new club? Because we get rid of SV with power and money and destroying the shepherd. And 20 said yes. Most of them who perform now high level, Helmut Huber, Yogi, uh, all these people, yeah, uh, They learned with me in the club, yeah. And I can understand them. They are now very good, and then they quit and they want to perform in the big circus where everybody sees them. And we cannot build up in 10 years what is built up in 100 years. And so the big circus is WSV and uh, FCI championship. Mm -hmm. So they quit RSV 2000, take their knowledge and go there. Yeah. I'm happy by this. Mm -hmm. I'm happy by this that I create people um, who go on in dog sport. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit sorry uh, that they are so selfish and not um, and don't give their knowledge and their help to the people. Mm -hmm. Mostly they do this for money, yeah. Okay. But uh, not in this ideal way, uh, way we do it. And okay. but it goes on with these people, and therefore it's good. Who is more important to you, the male or the female, in breeding and or in training? A good breeder always breeds with the mother lines and keeps the mother lines. And <laughs> yeah, of course, the male uh, brings more influence to the total breeding because mm -hmm. he can make many matings. A female uh, produces when it's much puppies, when there are much puppies, maybe 50 to 80 puppies in life. Mm -hmm. yeah? And, uh, but uh, the 
for breeding, the females, the female lines are the important things. Okay. And of course, with the males, you bring in uh, good things also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, performing with a dog, well, a male has more power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I like to show males, but, but a female uh, is, um, especially in the modern judging style, the more adaptive dog, the more easier dog, and the more precise dog. So I had both. I had males. I had uh, my, mm -hmm. uh, I had the first dog I had was, uh, on a big uh, trial was Marabus Eckerschloss. Ne? Then I had males, then I had in, um, Dame, now I have inlay, yeah? and a male has a little bit more power, but a female has more, has also something. Which country is leading in, in dog sport right now, or IGP specifically? From uh, South East Europe comes uh, in the last years uh, lots of uh, very good work, which is uh, in Slovakia, mm -hmm. uh, in um, Czechian. Yeah? Before it was, in, in the beginning it was Belgium. Yeah? It, it was Germany. And then um, the next, uh, this was talking about the 80s. Mm -hmm. yeah? uh, and then comes from Europe, Belgium, with Ronnie van der Berge and the whole group they had. Very small group, but super people, super dogs. And uh, when I uh, was a helper in their uh, trial, I said to my friend Rudy, I said, Rudy, I think we will buy our good dogs in the near future from foreign countries. Yeah? Because they had very good breeding and very good handlers. So afterwards uh, came up very quick America. Yeah, and nowadays they are not so. Uh, <laughs> everybody is struggling, <laughs> and politics and politics. Yeah, okay. but uh, America uh, was a time uh, in some time very good, and nowadays it's then comes uh, Sweden, uh, when Robert Jönsson and Pierre Wallström they learned at me. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, started and worked together. Now they fight only. Yeah, it's always the same. Um, they brought in uh, Sweden a very good okay. uh, style, and nowadays it's Czechoslovakia, uh, Slovenian, and uh, there in the in the southeast, they have good breeding. They have good trainers, mm -hmm. and Josef Adamucin uh, has a big influence there. Who? Josef Adamucin, the world champion with. Okay. Uh, Chris Podlatsov and my my male is from uh, uh, Chris Podlatsov's son. Okay. Oh, very good breeding. How do you pick a puppy and what do you look for in a puppy? At first, the bloodlines. Yeah. I look to the parents. Well, in the last years, I bred always my uh, dogs myself. When I, I told you, I, uh, when, I, uh, when we started with RSV 2000, I had to become a show judge. Yeah. This was my. Hardest gift to RSV 2000, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I, I did this, uh, and for this I had to breed, I think four breedings or so. So I said, okay, well, now I start breeding. I will take a puppy from uh, Robert Jensen, Kustmarkens. I will take a puppy from uh, Hugo Ma, uh, Mein Eiche, and I will take a, a puppy female from. Um, um, he was president in RSV 2000, uh, Eugen Ecker. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they were breeders of good working dog lines mm -hmm. with good mother, mother lines. <coughs> and uh, with Kustmarkens and with Mein Eiche, uh, I relied on and I created my breeding. And so you saw my world champion Finch. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this one I got with 18 months, I told you, because the handler couldn't handle the dog. 
And uh, from this comes my Kussmarkensdame. Yeah? So I stood in this line, and with the mine eicher I stood here with inlay uh, in this line. Okay. And no, but how did well, you pick your individual puppy? Do you look for traits, character in the individual puppy? Is he the one that's noisy? Is he the one that's beating up everyone? Is the no? Um, when I have the option, op opportunity to um, watch at the puppies here in my kennel, uh, you see very quick which is a, a active dog, which is the most dominant dog, and if it's a, a, a if it's a litter where the parents have high drive, take the normal one, which is uh, not very spectacular. Okay. <laughs> take the normal one. <laughs> yeah. And here with, with uh, Marco, I took the darkest one, but he was together with his brother, uh, uh, the most dominant one. Okay. And I don't test so much with the puppies. I look at the, I look at the, and and I don't play with them. I let them run around, and of course I put them in in a different environment and see what happens. Who is relaxed and without uh, is not impressed by this. Yeah, this is something when you have a dog who's the same everywhere. You don't have to train when you go in the stadium. Mm -hmm. It's a stadium like every stadium, <laughs> and okay. this makes it easier okay. if you have the dog with good nerves. A lot of uh, people like police work, uh, they want the dog to push, stay f pushing on the bite, or KMPV, which is the Royal Dutch Police. They don't want the dog pulling, they want the dog pushing. Mm -hmm. Do you have an opinion on that? I don't like this pulling, because this is green-blue. Dog wants to go away with the... The pulling. The pulling. But with Schutzen, don't they have to bite and pull? Yeah, and the gray is going in and bite. Okay. So they want the gray dog. Okay. I like this too. Okay. But... You lose points in IGP. Okay, so you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Makes, that's, that's actually a good answer. Yeah. I think it's a um, good answer. This is, this is one of the big mistakes nowadays. Huh? They take this dog, they... Well, somebody will take a dog that pulls and say it's yeah. shit. I don't think that's the case. Yeah, but uh, uh, they get points if, or, or they get applause in the stadium when the dog makes a, uh, f bites in the flight and pulls back that the helper cannot run. Yes, in IGP. Yeah. I know 40 years ago. Oh, this is not good. You don't like this. Uh, I'm open for this. I'm okay. open for this because you get points for it. But I know it's a blue behavior. Hmm. Huh? And this, this was an answer I wasn't expecting you to say. It's a blue behavior. And when I, when I tr teach my dog... I wasn't expecting this one. <laughs> when I teach my dog, um, um, then uh, I teach my dog green and not allowed to do the grain, just make green blue. Yeah, I don't like it, but I get points for it, so I have to train it. I know, it doesn't matter what shit they decide what we shall train, we can train it because mm -hmm. we understand what it is. Of course I like the dog who bites and is active and is dominant, and when you say aus, he makes wow. Yeah, you lose points for this. Okay. So my female now, I make her blue in the biting, you know, she attacks and then stays you know, quiet. Stays quiet, not allowed to fight. Only when I say us, she can bring out the gray. And she likes the gray. <laughs> you saw this when you come over the yard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she likes it. Yeah. And in the biting phase, I block it totally. And I know uh, how to do it. That's more killing prey, though, going forward, forward, forward. No, you just you just teach the dog if you uh, you can get it, you have to hold it, and if you try to fight, it's hell. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And some do it with uh, hands and with voice. Some do it with electric. I never do it with electric because what I saw is uh, when you uh, uh, make a green blue with electric it happens always when there is real stress on the dogs yeah on the long down the long long, long, long uh, run mm -hmm. yeah courage Aus, test the courage 
out yeah, they don't because let go. they learned in the higher stress green blue yeah this is what you teach on the dumbbell mm -hmm. huh? just to go quick and freeze yeah and the same you can teach in shoot scenes catch and freeze yeah and if you do this very smart uh, uh, it's the dog learns this yeah but the talent a, a green blue talent picks it we we figure this out in our talent sichtung you see we have with 12 months a talent sichtung in rs 2000 this we get 60 parameters from the anatomy we get 20 parameters from uh, mental parts yeah and we um, look for the thresholds for the green for the gray we look how it works together we look in the biting phase for the green for the gray and when the dog is threatened uh, attracted you give him a bite and you make for five seconds waves which is green behavior or tight leash whatever yeah so green and now you go and make a defense attraction that you make this block with tightness in the body and stiff arm you have two things one dog goes in this conflict and pulls away and one dog makes this this is a green blue this is a green gray mm -hmm. and then you see lots of the mental um, um, talents of this dog mm -hmm. and if i have a green gray dog i teach him make green blue mm -hmm. <laughs> and if i have a green blue dog i teach him be confident enough to rebite then you get your reinforcement and so you can tricks everything you want okay. yeah and but um, i like this dog who has courage eggs yes <laughs> eggs balls, <laughs> balls. <laughs> have you ever proofed a dog for no equipment for combat for no equipment yeah like not igp just no no equipment period dog to bite civil civil mm -hmm. well we have we have this full suit yeah okay and we, no muzzle work um mother work uh i i don't do myself okay. uh, but when the police comes and they want this okay then I do the mother work and okay uh, but uh, it's it's not my thing specialty yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Um, because the grip work is so important in our sport yeah 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 no it makes sense have you read any of Max von Stefanitz? And if so, what is your take on him and what he created? I have two books from Max von Stefanitz, and I read everything. And I, well, <laughs> I remember funny things, <laughs> but you cannot. He, when you bring this in this time, he he's fascism, yeah. But at this time, I remember so funny thing that he said: a shepherd who uh, adapts to uh serving people is no shepherd <laughs> this was Stefan uh, and uh, the other thing he said uh, who is tired by work does not uh, get uh, crazy love ideas okay <laughs> this is also Stefan mm -hmm. but he was very busy he writes down lots he has lots of knowledge from dogs and he was very creative he uh, tried everything he he put in uh, dogs with long hair white shepherds everything he puts together and uh, by this he creates a breeding i think he was a um, um, big kynologics kynologe Kyn i don't know kynologe Kyn he was a big kynologe uh, someone who understood kynology kynology chronology chronology i don't know this is a science from dogs okay yeah and uh, he understood a lot and you should not uh, put him out of his uh, time uh, no 100 to, <laughs> to uh, 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 to but that's why i'm asking because his yeah. books are the old books for the german chapter. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so okay um and it was interesting how he um it was very interesting how he um interpreted anatomy for work <laughs> no? 
nice is what is good for work. Yes. And um, when I started as a judge, show judge, I learned a lot um, about anatomy and working, how it deals together. For example, uh, what I did not know, uh, a friend, he's a judge, show judge, and a working judge, he said uh, to me, Helmut König is his name, uh, he's a, was, he, I don't know if he still is, he was the area president of uh, Saarland, he said, well, these GDR dogs with his short legs and this heavy chest, they cannot jump the uh, meter fence because the heavy point of the body is too much in front yeah and if they have speed yeah, they cannot lift up the big body in the front yeah? and so um, and this this works I see these dogs with uh, this 50 50 yeah Stefan it say, says 50 55 legs and 54 uh, chest mm -hmm. yeah and they move much better and they jump much better than these 50-50 dogs. Mm -hmm. And with more weight in front and more shorter legs. So this makes sense. Then the way how he described that the energy comes from the back and the dog has to stand lightly behind. What does this mean? Uh, this here is the uh, biggest joint. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, when the when the dog is standing under the joint, uh, then, like a donkey, he can carry a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. If he's standing too much behind, he's very quick because he can move long way to speed up the shepherd. Mm -hmm. yeah? And the shepherd should stand lightly behind this so the energy goes up and forward. And this is something he knew already and he described uh, more than 100 years ago. And this is uh, very effective um, physiology. Yeah. So he okay. has my big respect. Okay. Well, he's, he's been dead for yeah, since 1936. But, yeah. <laughs> so, but he's brought, brought a lot for the he German has, shepherd. Yeah, he brought a lot. Yeah. And okay. after this, they destroyed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What is the best way to develop a bond or relationship with your dog? A bond? A bond, a relationship. A bond relationship. With a dog? Mm -hmm. Heart and also heart and authority. Okay. <laughs> and discipline. Okay. And clear communication. Yeah. Okay. And the, f the first thing everybody who comes to my training field and wants to train with me. It's not allowed to laugh. Make he <laughs> Why? Shit, I'm getting kicked out right away. <laughs> Why? Because humor, a dog does never understand. Hmm. A dog doesn't understand humor. What is humor? Humor is, I have conflict. I show my teeth, this aggression, mm -hmm. and I dent this with happiness. Yeah? So we, we are hyperactive because we have a conflict. And if someone trains with me, he uh, is always in conflict. I say, make this, move in this way. He cannot do this. And then, ah, ah. Yes, yeah? I understand. They, they become... Um, uh, it's not black and white. Yeah, this doesn't, dog doesn't, doesn't understand this. Mm -hmm. yeah? And therefore, someone must learn to uh, be clear and uh, never laugh with the dog. Uh, you can be happy and make drive and everything, but if you have um, communication problems, humor dog never understands. Yeah, and this is something uh, you should not do when you train dogs. Be serious with much heart, which must discipline, consequence, and then it works. Okay, you mentioned um, Bart Bellin. So yes. you, 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 you speak to Bart Bellin or you know Bart some other... Bart is a good friend of mine. Okay. Uh, uh, Any other good trainers that he, you... Uh... He, calls, he calls nearly every month for oh. a short update, for a short talk. And, uh, well, um, do you know how I met him? <laughs> how would I know? <laughs> um, Bart Bellin is a good trainer from... The, um, Wilfried Lüneberg 
Fifi Fifi Lüneberg. Okay. Is one of the no, biggest no, no. dog dog handler uh, in SV. He was in the past, then he got a stroke, and nowadays, Not yeah, no, no, uh, Fifi Lüneberg, oh, oh, Wilfried Lüneberg, okay. and uh, he was one of my best LCC. He was absolutely genius until he got the stroke, and uh, he can say only this way to you mm -hmm. because he's uh, lamb limp on okay, the right yeah, side, yeah. and. He once said, Helmut, there is a Belgian guy in the dog school in somewhere. We must go there and listen. Okay, we went there. Looked at this. Mm -hmm. Star of the Belgian ring. Well, it took some while. Then I just asked the question. Are you Helmut Reiser? He asked me. I said, yes. And this was love on first sight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, two weeks later, we met again for some training together. And then it happened. Uh, I, know this. I think it was 92, 1992, um, where we had this big uh, seminar in the stadium of Colonia. No, it was Betzenberg Stadion. Kaiserslautern, it was Kaiserslautern. Or the military bases. Uh, and uh, there were 2,000 people because we made together with the SV. Mm -hmm. We, I, uh, pushed uh, Messler into the president uh, chair mm -hmm. <laughs> and the others out. And then we said we make together for SV. And I had, I hoped we could now create a good dog sport and a good training uh, in SV, but didn't work. And uh, well, and this was a, a seminar where Fifi Lüneberg, Bart Bellon, uh, me, Günther Diegel, and Dr. Baumgartner from the politics had talks. And uh, we also had some practice parts. We showed the work with the electric collar And the guy from the um, government, he created the law to this. And he's, I have still the video. He mm. said, big respect, and I hope everybody would work like you work uh, with this, with the dog. Yeah? And uh, this was the start of Bart Bellon. And since this seminar, uh, everybody knows him, and he started to do seminars and uh, He makes his job, and at the end, he makes lots of seminars every weekend. And uh, well, we called all every month and made an update. I said, Bart, we must must use the same terms. And uh, uh, well, we had lots of updates together, and we still are very good friends. And he is always he was always so grateful that we brought him in. The scene That's reads. crazy because uh, he's a well-known guy now. Yeah, he's the most well-known guy mm -hmm. because he he's he's also a tough person, very nice person, very tough guy, and very focused, very disciplined, very good on the dogs. Yeah, it's an interesting person. Bart Bellot. Yeah, yeah, no, you had mentioned you said his name and I didn't say anything. Yeah. So then I was just wondering, oh, do you know Bart Bellon? Any other trainers that you look at, like uh, Ivan Benabalov or? Somebody Ivan, else. I had uh, no training together, but when I was in the States, in Florida, of course, I visited him and uh, we had some good steaks together, good talks, yeah. Good philosophy, no, same yeah. philosophy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, well, the doc top sportler of the world are all friends of the house. Yeah. <laughs> and especially with the Spanish uh, guys, yeah, and uh, Finnish guys, and uh, the Swedish, Sweden, Denmark everywhere this is a small world america in canada uh, i have been uh, in the 885 yeah i met frank menzen menzing i don't know if he's still in the sport i don't okay. think so he must be an old man now and uh, here billy eisspitzen with uh, uh, this guy i performed with him in in, in the masters in america mm -hmm. and Well, uh, Lance Collins, when I when I when we when we had a seminar in uh, four seminars in America, uh, and Lance was in 
uh, Wisconsin, he was standing there, you know, on the distance. And then he followed us to Houston, Texas, because he realized there is something. And um, so we made, friend, made friends there. Yeah. And, uh, and then we met again in the big trials. I had bad luck. He had bad luck this year in the trial I saw. But yeah, lots of. Which I've one? been in Russia, I've been everywhere. Okay. 